Time again for Behind the Law with Dennis Vetrano. Welcome back, Dennis. Good to see you, Joe. A couple of weeks back, we were talking about someone who thought their divorce was taking way too long. Yeah, it seems like you get a lot of people saying that these days, huh? But you mentioned think, something about milestones taking place during the divorce procedure, uh, what should be happening and when. And the first thing you talked about was gathering information. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, too many people focus on, well, my divorce is taken six months. It's taken three months. It's taken a year and a half. It's taken 60, you know, um, you know, 90 days. Uh, you really have to not focus on the specific time because that really has to do with how complex your case is. And sometimes it's circumstances beyond anyone's control. You know, sometimes a, a, a you know, a judge retires or dies or something, you know, something uh, catastrophic, extreme, unforeseen happens. Uh, you certainly don't have control over those things, but you want to look at the milestones. Again, Within the first couple of weeks, if, you'd hired, if you've hired a divorce lawyer who knows and understands the process well, they should have asked you, have, we should have requested from you, in writing or otherwise, virtually every piece of information they can anticipate needing from you throughout the entirety of your case. Um, you know, we send out a letter within the first week, usually, um, sometimes within the first couple of days of being hired, that asks for pretty much everything we're going to need for the entirety of the case, all of the financial information, et cetera, all the facts, circumstances of the case. So, um, you know, one of the first things we ask for is for clients to complete a net worth statement. And that asks for a, asks you to fill out a form, a pretty lengthy form that lists your income, your expenses, your assets, and your liabilities. So the first piece of that is income. So what do we ask for there? A lot of people don't know. Well, okay, you know, my income is what? You know, whatever you get in your sure, check, right? Sure, sure. Um, but income is from every source. So it means if you're getting disability income, that should be included. If you're getting uh, pension payout income, that should be included. Um, fringe benefits, those technically have a value and technically they should be considered in terms of, you know, however you're going to calculate support or, or division of assets or those things as part of the divorce case. So, um, you know, when I say income, it does mean everything. Like I said, rental property income, cafe plans, cash collected, side jobs, pension distributions, everything. So in terms of the income, as you're filling out your net worth statement, make sure you've put everything in there because your, your attorney relies on you to provide them information that is as uh, comprehensive and as accurate as is possible. We'll continue this next time we get together. In the meantime, to find out more about Dennis and his firm, please visit that website. Yes, drvitranolaw.com. And there's some, conver there's some conversations on the website about you know, in what's income and what's not and um, you know, net worth statements as well. Good to see you, Dennis. Good to see you, Joe.